day six, the last day of the West Highland Way that we're doing. Uh, just leaving Kinloch Leven, that's where we are. If you ever come here, that's the co-op that they usually tell you in the instructions to go past. Probably the only place to actually get some sweeties. Um, and then you've got the Highland Gateway, or Getaway, something. Uh, if you want to get some pints, people in our hotel had some drinks in there. And then in front of me is the Ice Factor you want to go ice climbing, ice rock climbing. And anyway, the route that we're taking today goes back over the water that we crossed yesterday and we go up into those hills and uh, our end point is kind of way up over there, 15 miles away. But just now, I thought 15 miles, piece of cake. 15 miles is something easy. So today is going to be if that blue cloud comes, or if that blue sky comes out, it's going to be a very nice day. So back there, that's the way that we came. That water you're seeing gushing out there is from the hydroelectric power plant, I think, which is somewhere around there, or the brewery. Uh, you can see some fissures down on the water, very oxygenated water. And that way is to the black water, that way is to Loch Leven. So we're going up that hill through those bits there. Woo! The start of today's walk is a serious uphill. So I've got a good bit to go up there, but you're rewarded with an astonishing view looking back over Kinloch Leven, the power station. So we walked some somehow over that hill there yesterday. Or was it over there? I really can't remember. And then over into the scary mountains over there. But that is absolutely gorgeous view of the sun shining off the river and a little bit of blue sky which you don't see all the time so just keep going up Kim's wondering if she has panda eyes <laughs> no no she's just blowing all the, the wind and rain's blown off wow we've just been through some awesome wind rain and hail which is actually painful on my head uh, and it was so wet that my waterproof jacket and waterproof trousers and waterproof boots are not waterproof in any way. And uh, oh, I'm just like walking in. I'm totally going to have trench foot. I'm going to have trench foot at the end of today. Or my feet are going to be stinking, that's for sure. Um, oh, oh, it's all wet down the inside of my legs. And I haven't even wet myself. Uh, but I can see sunshine up in front. It's just very difficult to see the sunshine through my very wet glasses, that's all. Use my hat as a windsock. Okay, I think uh, Kim and I are now just on our last home stretch, the last five miles, the last two, two and a half hours worth of walking. And uh, the rain was really heavy again, just back there, and the hail was battering us to the point where it was actually painful. Um, and the, there's a bit back there where we could either take a four mile route which would just be like a, an hour and a half or a seven and a half mile route instead which is what we're doing now um, however I think what we can see in front of us now is Ben Nevis I think because you can't see the top of it and it's usually the top that gives it away but that is what we're seeing this thing in the clouds over there could very well be Ben Nevis. Ooh. Ooh. Muddy bit. Ooh. Again, this looks like another place that'd be great to come back to uh, in summertime when it's nice and warm, if it's ever warm in the summertime. But this bit just definitely coming into Glen Nevis, I think, I think that what it, that's what it is. Uh, we've just come through some forest. We're now following a, a little river here with some massive big boulders in it and off into the forest again. Just seems like a really lovely place uh, to be. So very nice bit to finish off the trip and I'm totally feeling energized for the last bit. You just know that you're close to the end. I think I could actually jog some of this last bit. I'm going to jog it. I'm going to. I'm just going to leave Kim behind. Just leave her. Leave her. Look at her. Wimping out 
Right, I'm off for a jog. <sighs> okay, stats update. 24, 25,000 steps so far. Duration, four hours, 20 minutes. Distance, 12 miles, 12.48, 12, 12 and a half miles. Uh, 12 and a half miles, four and a, four hours, 20 minutes. Time, five past one. And I think we're getting a bit closer to Ben Nevis. Can't see, oh, oh, what is that Fort William over there? I think it might be way over in the distance over there. So, wow, that, I thought that was Ben Nevis. Clearly, the big brother to the side, I think is what Ben Nevis is. I think it's ski resort bit, but the ski area is on the other side of that hill over there. Um, but yeah, again, not a good day to climb Ben Nevis because you're just going to be right up in the clouds. Um, but you can, Kim and I could probably say we climbed halfway up because it kind of looks like we're halfway up. It's just now, I think. So close to the end, so close to the end. Kim's foot is falling off, my ankle's falling off, my shoes are just squishy, wet wellies. But it's not raining here just now at this moment and I can see blue sky and I can see sunshine and what looks like, uh, what do you call that? Fort William. Yeah, that's what it is. Fingers crossed. And it's a fairly easy road to what I think finish the day on. This. We'll see. Probably not like three hours later. Side by side, Kimbo. Side by side. What? So it seems like the end of the West Highland Way has been slightly changed and it's actually way in the town centre, which is a great way to show off how many shops are derelict and not actually open. So, uh, well done. Um, and <laughs> we've got sunshine, we've had rain, it's battered us just at the end there, just gives us a good soaking at the end just to remind us of what, <laughs> why we're never doing this again. Um, oh, but where is this end? Goes on and on. Hmm? How's it? Get something to eat, then get in the train. I'm trying to enjoy the view all the way home. So this is the man that we're at with at the end of the trip. Some man holding his feet. Yay! End of the West Highland Way. In the sunshine. In the glorious sunshine. Warm, lovely sunshine. Let's see, Kimbo. What was that today? Okay, 34,888 steps, 17 miles, duration 5 hours, 56 minutes, did another 6 hours, stop, there you go. Oh, okay, so that's us finished, that's us had our coffees, that's us about to go try and get our luggage and go and get on the train. Oh, my ankle is just swollen up and I can, can't actually walk in my boots just now. So I can't, I'm just going to have to quickly get changed into my trainers. Thus making me think I could not do this for even one more day uh, at all. But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely hobbling all over the place. Um, there you go. However, what I would say is that although it's battered us, there is, the weather is leaving us with a very nice sunshine to finish off the trip. Sunshine and super scary cloud. So, bit of everything. We've had all, all seasons every day, pretty much. All four seasons of rain, rain, rain. Winter rain, summer rain, spring rain, autumn rain. And summer hail is what we had today as well. Great. <laughs>